Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this guide shows you how you can run Fire Stick apps on a PC. Now, if you've got Windows 11, at some point in the near future, Microsoft are going to introduce native support for the Amazon App Store. But as of April 2022, when recording this video, that feature is not available. And if you've got earlier versions of Windows, such as Windows 10, 8, 8.1 or Windows 7, then unfortunately, you're not going to get that support built in natively. It's only going to be Windows 11. But in the meantime, there is a third party app you can install on your PC, which will allow you to run Fire Stick and other Android apps. So here's how you install it. So all you need to do is just go into your web browser. Now it can be any browser, Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, etc. doesn't matter which one. Just go into it. I'm going to go into Google Chrome. And once it opens, go to the address bar right at the top of the screen. Not the search bar in the middle of the screen because that won't work. The address bar right at the top. Click in there and if there's anything in there, delete it out. And then you need to type in there bluestacks.com. That's bluestacks.com, all in lowercase and no spaces. Now, if you need to write this down, pause this video and then restart it as soon as you're ready. Once you've done that and typed in bluestacks.com, press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, if you've typed the address in correctly, then you will see this page here. If you've got a different page come up, then try typing it in again and double check the spellings of bluestacks.com. So what we want to do is we need to click on the green download Bluestacks 5. So click on that and what you'll see is if you're running Chrome like I am, Bluestacks installer will appear in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If you're running Edge or Firefox, it might appear in the top right hand corner. But once you see it, click on it or click on open file. And then you might get this uh, security warning come up saying, do you want to run this file? If you do, move your mouse over run, left click once, and your screen may darken and say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Bluestacks installer and the verified publisher is Bluestacks Systems Inc., then move your mouse over yes, left click once. Okay, so all we need to do now is just move our mouse over the blue install now, and left click once. Now it's downloading the whole installer now. It just downloaded the first part of the installer before. So this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection. So if you've got a particularly slow internet connection, this bit could take quite a while. It's telling me there's about one minute left on my installation. Like I say, this might vary just depends on the speed of your internet connection. So could take a few minutes to maybe even an hour, depending on how fast or how slow your internet connection is. But just be patient with it. You'll see that blue bar going up and the percentage should go up as well. And at times it might look as though it's stopped, but uh, believe me, it probably hasn't. So here we go. I'm nearly ready now. So it's just coming up to 100%. There you go, and it's downloading something else again. And this time it's a much, much bigger file. So again, this could take a long time. So go off, have a cup of coffee and come back in a little while. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the download. Okay, so uh, that took about four minutes, so it's nearly finished downloading now. So uh, like I say, just be patient. It might look as though it's stopped at times. Mine stopped on 99.87%, but uh, I guarantee it is doing something in the background. Just be patient with it. And it's now downloading another part. So I'm not sure how many parts this has got left to download, but we'll just keep going, keep persevering. Okay, so the installer has disappeared and it's just come back again and now it's saying it's checking system requirements. Pause your PC antivir antivirus if it's interfering with the installation. So if you find you've got problems, then uh, basically if you turn off your antivirus just for the moment, 
but uh, normally it shouldn't need that so just see if it works first of all before deciding to uh, to pause it again this could take a while at times it could look as though it's stopped but it probably hasn't so uh, just be patient with it okay so it's created some shortcuts and it's now finishing the post installation step so shouldn't be too much longer okay so we're nearly there 99 percent and there we go it seemed to get stuck on 99 percent for quite a while there i'm just going to close this window down incidentally this browser let's just close that down and as we can now see in the background it says starting bluestacks please wait so we'll just let that load up okay so on mine it's just come up with a warning because the pc that i'm installing it on hasn't got a particularly good processor on it so it's saying it's currently limited to using one cpu core on your pc that's fine i'm just going to uh, dismiss this warning by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner there okay so now here we've got the play store there so if you want to download anything from the play store we've already got some system apps already on there what we could do is we could try to download downloader to the pc so let's just try and do that let's open up our browser again in our normal pc window so i'm just going to open up google chrome and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my website there so i'm going to go up to the address bar at the top of the screen not the search bar in the middle but the address bar at the top delete out anything that's in there okay and then i'm going to type in there aftv news forward slash 21203 that's aftv.news forward slash 21203 then i'm going to press enter or return on the keyboard okay so it's taking me to this page it's just going to redirect me shouldn't be too long and there we go so let's just scroll down find downloader there click on the downloader icon and there you go it starts downloading so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on downloader just down there in the bottom left hand corner if you're using edge or firefox it might be up in the top right hand corner so let's just click on that and there you go it says installing app and hopefully in a few seconds downloader should appear on the Bluestacks screen. And there we are, downloader has just appeared and I can double left click on that. And there we are, downloader has loaded. So I'm just gonna allow access to uh, our photos, media and files on the device and then click on okay. And there we go, we've got downloader as if it was on the Fire TV stick. And then we can use it as we'd use downloader normally, or we can just download stuff like I've just done from our normal web browser and uh, just double click on the icon for whatever we've downloaded and it will then install it into Bluestacks. So there you go, a great way of being able to install Android and Fire TV Stick apps onto your PC. Incidentally, if you do want to delete the installer once you've installed it, let's just come out of this. So I'm just gonna click on the cross up there, go to close and let's just close this down go into any yellow folder click on downloads from the left or on the main screen there and there you go you can see there there's bluestacks installer just there i can move my mouse over that left click once click on the or tap on the delete key on the keyboard and also because i've downloaded downloader there i can delete that as well so uh, click on that once tap the delete key on the keyboard then tap yes. I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.